Hey everybody, this video brings us back out to Walt Disney World. Today we are here at the Magic Kingdom. I'm actually I'm actually parking in the parking lot today at the yeah. um, at the Magic Kingdom. This is something I have not done in oh gosh, at this point maybe years, I I, I think. Anyway, we're gonna grab one. I don't know why I locked the doors. So we're gonna grab one more thing before we um, before we head into the, the Magic Kingdom, and that is my umbrella. We're, we're walk that, that is not shut. There we go. We are walking around with an, an umbrella today because today there's a hurricane coming through. Now, granted, we should be okay. Uh, the hurricane is going up the, uh, the Gulf Coast into the Panhandle. We're just going to get some residual winds and rains. So we should be perfectly fine, but I figured let's pop into the Magic Kingdom. Let's check out the, oh, there's a bird on that car. Let's pop into the Magic, did I lock the door? <laughs> there we go. Let's pop into the Magic Kingdom and uh, let's just see what the crowds are like on a day where it's kind of rainy and gloomy and uh, we're supposed to get some, again, pretty strong winds coming up in the next like two or so hours. A bunch of rain today and um, initially they had scheduled for today a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. It's been canceled due to the, uh, the hurricane so I think a lot of people probably hadn't planned on coming to the park today at all. The parking lot's actually very, it's not very crowded. There's, there's, not, there's not many people here. It's kind of empty, at least from what I can see, it's kind of empty. So I'm thinking the park is gonna be kind of empty as well. So again, I figured let's just pop into the park, see what the park is like on a day where there's a hurricane coming through and um, see what's going on. I'm a little nervous though. It's been a while since I've parked here in the, uh, in the parking lot and taken the, uh, the tram over to the TTC. I'll explain more about that when I when I get over there and why I haven't done this in literally a couple of years, but we're gonna do it now. All right, we made it to the transportation and ticket center. This is where you have to either get on a ferry boat or a monorail to go across the lagoon to make it over to the Magic Kingdom. Kind of a pain in the butt. One of the reasons why I, I hate doing this, but there's, there's more of a reason than that. But I also forgot to mention, I got my, my cross body bag on, my, my cross body bag on today, AKA fanny pack, AKA bum bag. I like how nobody wears them across their like waist anymore. They no longer wear them on their fanny and or bum, so they don't call them that anymore. They now call them cross body bags because this is the cool way now to wear your, your fanny pack or your bum bag. I still call them fanny packs. I, today I was like, Danielle, do you, have a, do you have a fanny pack I can borrow? She looked at me like I was crazy. A cross body bag? She's like, oh yeah, I got, got some of those. Anyway, I'm an old man. It's a fanny pack. What do you call them? Cross body bags, bum bags, fanny packs? I'm a fanny pack kind of man. Anyway, got my uh, got my fanny pack, got my umbrella, and I'm also rocking my my water shoes today. I figured, yeah, you know, if it's gonna, if it's gonna rain, I should probably walk the uh, walk the well, rock the water shoes. I'm gonna be walking in. I usually only wear these um, when I go to like the pool or something like that. But yeah, it's gonna rain. I figured, why why ruin my shoes? These aren't the most comfortable things to walk in. I can already feel. I'm hurting a little bit, but it is what it is. I've got the socks on. Usually I, usually I don't rock these with socks, but I figured to um, to add a little extra cushioning, I would keep the socks. All right, so again, we are here at the transportation and ticket center. I could hop onto the monorail and take that over, but that's a death that's a death coffin right there. I don't like coffin in the sky. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the monorail, it terrifies me. Or we can take the ferry boat, which is what we're gonna do. Both of them actually do terrify me. Um, again, I'll explain that in a little bit. But right now we're gonna get on the ferry and take the ferry across the uh, across the, the lagoon over to the the Magic Kingdom. Hopefully, I think maybe they're boarding right now already. So we should be able to get on pretty quickly. We are now on the Richard F. Irvine. Look at all the, the hidden Mickeys there. Oh, I, I just fell down the stairs. All the hidden Mickeys uh, from the towels they use to wipe everything down. Cause again, it is very, very wet out right now. It's actually pouring rain only maybe about an hour ago. Now the sun's coming back out. Now the, um, 
Now you can see some blue sky. The sun keeps poking its head out, but um, supposedly rain is, is coming back. But all right, we are here on the, uh, on the ferry boat. I guess they no longer let you get right. Wow, look at this. This is new. Again, it's been about two years but they no longer let you get right up on the uh, the edge anymore. Now they have this, it roped off for some reason. I wonder what that's about. Comments down below if you know why why that happened. What did some some not so good <laughs> visitor do to uh, to make that happen? You, you, you know somebody came here, a tourist came here on vacation and did something dumb. And now, now because of that, they have a rope. Well, that went surprisingly well. I haven't done that in about uh, two plus years because of something I've been diagnosed with. I, I do suffer from and have been diagnosed with agoraphobia. It affects people in many different ways, but kind of in layman's term, I guess you could say that agoraphobia is sort of a fear of being trapped. And for me, not to get all TMI on you, it's a fear of kind of being in a situation where I don't have access to a restroom and there are no restrooms. Well, actually, I've been told there are restrooms on the boats when they do like dinner parties. There is a restroom, but it's not open when they're just taxiing people back and forth. I don't know, that's what I've been told anyway. But um, so it's a fear of, of not having access. For me, it's like a, a fear of not having access to a restroom or being in a situation just where I can't get to one or even being in a situation where it might be embarrassing to have to excuse myself to use a restroom. That kind of thing can really trigger anxiety attacks. And I've actually had my worst ever anxiety attack right here at Walt Disney World on the Carousel of Progress. It's like a 10 minute attraction where they lock the doors and you don't get out. And as soon as the doors went and shut, I went into a full blown panic attack. The worst panic attack I've ever had. I thought I was dying. It was awful. It was horrible. It was not fun. And my anxiety over the last couple of years has not been great. It, uh, it got worse, but recently it's actually been a little bit better. So I thought I would test my luck and take the ferry boat and that went fine. No panic attack, no, no issues. While we were waiting for everybody to board, I was getting a little anxious, but no major anxiety attack. So that was, that was great. But that's the reason why I haven't done the, uh, the ferry boats in about two or so years. And that's still the reason why I'm, I'm terrified to get onto the, uh, the monorail. I've been on that thing way too many times where it's gotten stuck. And I'll tell you right now, if I'm on that and it, and it gets stuck, probably going into, no, definitely going into a panic attack. That's, <laughs> that's not going to be a good situation. So, um, I don't know. We'll work our way up to, um, to getting on the monorail, but the ferry boat went, went well. I'll, I'll be able to, I think I'd be able to, I think I'll be able to handle that in the, um, in the future, but all right, we are here now at the magic kingdom. I'm going to go scan in. The sun is, is out. It's actually getting very humid and warm out right now. I thought there was supposed to be a, a hurricane coming through. I brought my my poncho and a and a plastic Ziploc bag and, and everything inside my um, inside my my crossbody bag just in case and my umbrella and my water shoes just for the uh, <laughs> for the hurricane. And who knows if it's even going to happen now here. I think we're still, I think we're still supposed to get a fair amount of rain in the next, uh, in the next couple of hours. But all right. So I'm thinking first thing is first, I'm starving. It's about 1130, probably coming up at noon at this point. I have not yet eaten today and I really could go for um, some Columbia Harbor House. So I think we're going to head back to Columbia Harbor House. My goal for today, I'm not going to spend a long time here just a couple of hours. I want to get myself some food. I want to get on at least one attraction and then uh, and then I don't know. We'll we'll see where things go. I'm going to I'm going to hold out a little bit. Kind of wait to see where the how the storm's coming and see if the storm even hits us and then and then head out. But a couple of hours here at the Magic Kingdom, food, attractions. Maybe I'll do some shopping. Who knows? 
So I think today I'll actually take some um, some transportation here. I haven't done this in a long, long time. This actually takes us up to the uh, up to the castle. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do today in uh, <laughs> in style. Thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> I would highly recommend if you walk into the Magic Kingdom and the um, the Main Street uh, transportation is there. Yeah, just pop on. I mean, it it might actually take you a, a little bit longer than it would to actually just just walk Main Street, but whatever. I mean, it, you, you got to do it, right? There's also a, a very loud show going on right now. We're now entering into Liberty Square. Possibly, yeah, I'm gonna say my favorite section of uh, of the Magic Kingdom. I love Liberty Square. And they do have my, my all-time favorite restaurant, which is the Columbia Harbor House. And that's where we're eating today. It's been a little while since I've had some Columbia Harbor House. It's, a, it's an amazing restaurant, great food. And uh, it's just the, the atmosphere, the ambiance. It's a very nautical-themed uh, restaurant and I love it. I really do love Liberty Square. I love the, the Liberty Tree they have here. I did a whole video on that. That is Walt Disney's Liberty Tree. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. And someday I will do a whole video on the Liberty Bell right there. Really interesting history behind that Liberty Bell. I'll do a video on that at some point. And ah, uh, well, glad I wore my, uh, my water shoes. I'm walking in poo. Hello. All right, so I got my kids' chicken fingers with my uh, bottle of water and, of course, cocktail sauce to dip the, um, the chicken fingers into. I don't want to fill up too much because if I am still hungry before I leave, I'm probably going to get myself a um, a pizza um, spring roll because the, the pepperoni pizza spring rolls are amazing and I, I kind of want to get one of those too before I leave. So don't want to get, don't eat too much right now for um, for lunch. Unfortunately, even though I have a pretty good view out the window at the moment, my um, my go-to view of the Haunted Mansion was was taken. So I, I don't get that today, but at least I do get my, my chicken fingers and the amazingness of this, the, the Columbia Harbor House. All right, that was a very um, quick and a very delicious meal. Yeah, not a very large meal, very small meal, but that's okay. Don't want to be too full. I gotta eat my uh, my pepperoni pre my pepperoni pizza spring rolls later on if I'm uh, if I'm feeling up to it. No. Again, we still got the the sun coming out. I just checked uh, the weather reports, and it looks like we might just be totally getting like bypassed altogether. That 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 rain that was supposed to come later on may not be coming at all at this point. So I, I don't know, the, the wind's picking up though. We'll, we'll see what happens. So I don't know, I, I was thinking of maybe, maybe an, an attraction now. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe I'll work off the food a little bit first before I get on something. Haunted Mansion's only a 35 minute wait, but neither Danielle or I have seen the, um, the new Hatbox Ghost. We haven't, we haven't done that yet. We haven't, we haven't been on to see the Hatbox Ghost yet, which, which is crazy. They added that like how long ago? We haven't done it yet. So I feel like I should wait to get on that until uh, I'm here with her. So I'm probably gonna skip Haunted Mansion today, but I might quickly pop into uh, Memento Mori. So much of what they have in here is the same stuff they had maybe a couple of months ago when I was last in here looking around, but I don't remember this. Look at the mini waffle maker. It makes the, uh, the sconce. That is pretty awesome. I love the, uh, the wallpaper on the top as well. That is cool. We already have a waffle maker, but we don't have a Haunted Mansion waffle maker. Who, like, who thought this up? Who thought 
the idea of a of a haunted mansion waffle maker who who went yeah that's a good idea i it, i mean it is don't get me wrong i guarantee you this thing sells the haunted mansion super popular but what a weird thing to uh to combine with the haunted mansion but man that actually is pretty awesome this is new i haven't actually seen the um the crow before that's pretty awesome it's the crow that uh, you find throughout the the Haunted Mansion. This was actually supposed to be um, the narrator, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or so I was told, of the uh, the Haunted Mansion originally. The crow was supposed to, like, bring you through the Haunted Mansion and tell you the story. That is cool. And, oh, my gosh, wait, it's a shoulder pal. I just realized that. That is cool. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. Or is he a raven? He's a, he's a ra raven? Crow? Same thing. All right, that's going to do it for Memento Mori. A little too crowded in there. The, uh, the shoulder pal, though. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I want the uh, the crow, raven, whatever that is. I I, I kind of want that, but no, I don't. I don't need a, a crow, raven. I'm walking in poo again. I don't need a crow, raven, shoulder, pal, thing. All right. I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of the day. <laughs> we'll just kind of again. We're gonna kind of just explore, see if the weather picks up, and then uh, and then get out of here. I don't think I'll be doing it today, but eventually I gotta get back onto the Liberty Bell because they are getting rid of that and Tom Sawyer Island. They're getting rid of, getting rid of this whole section here to put in uh, some new lands, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, kind of not cool. I'm gonna miss uh, Tom Sawyer Island, which appears to be closed at the moment, and I'm gonna miss the, um, the Liberty Bell, although the Liberty Bell is definitely an anxiety-inducing attraction because uh, no bathrooms on that either, so. I don't know. One of these days, I'll get back on that before they uh, shut it down for good. Something else I haven't done yet is um, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I haven't gotten on that yet. The old, the old Splash Mountain as of, what, a couple of months ago. <laughs> Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I got to get on that. But again, I, I haven't done it yet. I don't believe Danielle has done that yet either. So I'm going to wait. But eventually... Eventually, I'll do all, the, all these new things here in, in Disney, even though I live 25 minutes away, that I haven't done yet. Eventually, I will do. I'm very much questioning this right now. It says that uh, Big Thunder Mountain is a five-minute wait, but the line is going all the way out here. So I'm thinking, no? I'm thinking that can't be right. <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of line inside as well, so... I don't know why it says five minutes, but that's definitely incorrect. I wonder if the ride was just down and just reopened. That's what I'm thinking, because I don't know why it would say five minutes. Again, that, that line is way more than five minutes. Kind of a shame, because um, I, I totally would have popped on that, but that's got to be like a, I don't know, an hour wait. Maybe had I brought a bigger bag, but I don't really feel like walking around carrying one of these today, but eventually I got to come back in here to the... Uh, the Critter Co-op and get Danielle one of these plush. They have these amazing new raccoon plush. These are cool. They're from the attraction. There's a um, an accordion playing raccoon on the attraction. This guy's cool. He's only 25, which honestly isn't that bad. I, I kind of thought he'd be a little bit more. So um, I don't know if I'm going to grab it today, but eventually I'm going to have to get one of those for, uh, for Danielle. I don't know. May maybe we'll come back today. Maybe. Oh, they've now changed the sign to 15 minutes, but again, the line literally comes all the way out to the uh, Critter Co-op. So I'm thinking 15 minutes might even be a um, be a stretch. Supposedly, Pirates of the Caribbean is only a 15-minute wait, which is not not bad at all. I don't know. Again, I'm really um, torn on what attraction I want to get on. I don't know. Man, wow. All right, there we go. Now the wind's picking up. This is killing me right now. There's really no line at the uh, at the Dole Whip stand. 
Is it really a trip to the Magic Kingdom if you don't get a Dole Whip? I don't know. <laughs> but even though the sugar sounds really good right now, I'm really trying to keep some room in the belly because I, I want to get those spring rolls, which I will be walking past in about like two minutes. I'm going to skip on them for now, but before I leave, I, I kind of want to get one. But you know what? If I do decide, eh, maybe I don't want a spring roll. I'm probably coming back for a Dole Whip. Oh yeah, I completely forgot they redid the ground here in Adventureland. It's kind of more of a, like a mud, dirt kind of look with the animal prints, the animal tracks. That's pretty cool. I like it. I haven't seen it yet. It's okay. Remain calm. Just tell yourself they haven't opened yet. They're, they're going to open any minute now. The spring roll cart is, uh, is closed. I, I might be getting my Dole Whip after all. That, that'll be a bummer. I was really looking forward to a spring roll, but at the moment they're closed. Maybe because of the weather? I don't know. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. So the good news is they told me spring rolls are still available. They just moved them. The bad news is nobody seems to know where they are. The guy who was at the spring roll stand said, oh yeah, they're, they're up and to the left. And I, I went up and to the left and no other cast member has any idea where the spring rolls are. They keep going, oh yeah, they're over there. I'm like, no, no, they're not. <laughs> so I don't know. That, that place back there did not have them. Uh, Sleepy Hollow refreshments did not have them. So we're gonna try the Liberty Square Market to see if they have them. If they don't, then I have no idea and I'm gonna get a Dole Whip. All right, take two. So um, talked to a cast member over here at the market. She actually, she was like the manager. She, um, she called somebody and they said, the guy kind of pointed me in the wrong direction. They're actually at the popcorn cart in the hub. That's where the spring rolls are. Not that I necessarily want one at the moment. I want to wait a little bit until I eat one, but it's good to know that uh, they supposedly still have them. We're gonna go, we're gonna go check quick. Supposedly, right right over here, right in the hub, popcorn cart. That's where they moved them. Not not to Liberty Square. We have success. There's a lady right over there holding a spring roll sign. So the spring rolls have moved for the day over here to the uh, the popcorn cart. We're good. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I'll come back for one of those later. Okay, I do still have to get on at least one attraction. That's my, one of my goals for today. I gotta get on at least one attraction. I'm still not 100% sure what that's gonna be, but I gotta do something and something soon because these shoes, <laughs> they are not comfortable at all. They're great for, um, you know, wearing in the, in a public pool or wearing at the beach or something like that. But man, walking around the parks in these, a little painful. So uh, I kind of don't wanna be here for too much longer. I, I have no idea. Part of me's thinking the train. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head that way. Well, I'm gonna head over here for a second. Then I'm gonna head that way, and uh, we'll just see what pops up first, and then a spring roll. And the reason why we are heading this way first is because apparently there are three new pair of ears that just came out, and Danielle wants me to try and find them. I do not see them here. They don't have them. So, all right. Before we leave, I'll stop in the Emporium and uh, I'll check back in Fantasyland before we go as well. We're, we're actually heading that way now. So it's coming up about 1.30 right now, and according to all the weather reports I saw, one o'clock was supposed to be the time when the Orlando area was gonna be getting hit by all kinds, with, with all kinds of storms and, and crazy winds. All the bad stuff was supposed to happen around 1 p.m., or at least that's what the weather reports were saying a couple of hours ago, but I, I don't know. Again, the, the sun is out right now. We have no rain. The wind is picking up, but I wouldn't say anything overly crazy. It, it's, it's, it's more wind than usual, but nothing nothing too out of the ordinary for, uh, for this area. So I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might just get completely like passed over. It's kind of looking that way. I'm still not finding the ears that Danielle's looking for. I don't see them here in Big Top Souvenirs. Apparently the ears just started showing up at certain places, so they might, not, they might not even have them here in the parks yet. We will still check the Emporium, but as of now, I'm thinking she might be out of luck. Nope, no new ears in Star Traders either. 
the line for the people mover does seem to be moving people fairly quickly, so I'm thinking this is gonna be my attraction for the day. It's one of my all-time favorite Disney attractions. Yeah, we gotta do the people mover. Oh yeah, the people mover right now, best idea. My feet are killing me. This feels Greetings, good. Travelers. Absolute best way to see tomorrow. Come on, stars, there are ever lots to see. From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in tomorrow. Progress City, Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City is Spider.com? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. You know what else I also haven't done yet? I haven't done Tron Light Cycle. <laughs> Again, so many things here at the Disney parks I just haven't done yet. All right, I think the, uh, the storm might be coming. A little late, about an hour late than uh, predicted, but the winds are really picking up. The, the clouds are looking nasty, and I, I have to, I'm literally having to hold my hat to keep it on. So, um, all right, the, the outer, the outer rims of the uh, the storm might finally be hitting us. Mike Wazowski has brought in some real monsters to comedy. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling some raindrops. I think the rain's coming. So I'm gonna book it over to the uh, popcorn stand. I'm gonna get my egg roll now because I'm not gonna eat an egg roll in the rain. So I'll get it now. I'm, I'm really thirsty anyway. So I'm gonna get myself an egg roll, something to drink, and uh, hopefully the rain will hold out until I'm done eating. And then from there, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm still thinking about getting on the train. I might do the train, and then maybe we'll, we'll head out. It's definitely begun to um, rain kind of off and on, but <laughs> I got my egg roll, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Mm. Pepperoni egg roll. That's why I left room at, at lunchtime. Oh my gosh. These are so good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish these up and then hop on the train quick. All right, now I'm officially full. Those, um, those egg rolls don't look like much, but I don't know, every time I pop one of those in my mouth, like <laughs> every time I pop both of those in my mouth, by the end, I, I feel like I just ate an entire pizza. Those are, are quite filling and quite delicious. So, oh, all right, now that I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm going to explode, <laughs> we're gonna pop into the, uh, the Emporium really quick, quickly. I can't even talk now. We're going to pop into the Emporium really quickly to see if they have the ears Danielle wants. Oh my gosh. I feel like I ate a baby. And unfortunately, no new ears in the Emporium either. So, all right. Um, uh, I'm missing the train. There is one more place I want to check quick for ears and then we will go hop on the train. I even tried here over in the theater and they don't have any new ears here either. So um, I'm kind of giving up at this point on, on any new ears. <laughs> Some of the employees are telling me they drop ears on Mondays. So if new ears are coming out, maybe not till Monday, I don't know. Now I'm in the candy store and now I'm, I'm looking at candy. those friendly faces already not to worry on this train it's never goodbye it's always see you real soon see there was a time not so long ago that i was just a young fella on main street with a balloon in my hand and a wish in my heart that someday i'd be the conductor of this train on a more musical note just ahead princess tiana is striking up the band for her big party she made me promise to tell you folks, you're invited. Well, once again, folks, everyone, 
must disembark the train here at Fantasyland Station. All right, well, that didn't quite go as planned. Um, so <laughs> I was hoping to ride the train literally all the way back to, to Main Street, but I was gonna stay on it at Main Street and get off over at, um, at Frontierland. I, even though I've, we've already been through Frontierland, I was planning on getting off there and picking up that, uh, that raccoon plush for Danielle. But now I am all the way on the other side of the park at this point, and I kind of don't feel like walking all the way over there. <laughs> I really don't feel like walking all the way to the other side of the park again, especially not in these these shoes. My feet are killing me. So, um, I guess that's not happening. I, I, th I think at this point we're pretty much leaving. The sun is coming back out. I, I I've been checking the weather, and everything I've been seeing pretty much says that the hurricane it, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna pass us. We're we're not getting like anything. Even the um, even the outer bands and whatnot seem to be like they're not really gonna hit us. So. I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good day. <laughs> and as such, I'm thinking, we're calling it quits. Again, my feet are killing me. I wore these shoes for no reason whatsoever. I've been carrying around this umbrella for no reason whatsoever. And the poncho and everything for no reason whatsoever. I think we're done. I will get the, uh, I'll get the raccoon next time I come. I was going to make it a surprise for her, but that didn't, again, that didn't work. Uh, the cast member was saying, apparently, I guess, due to the winds, which are, aren't, I mean, they're, they're, they're heavy, but they're not crazy. Something uh, like a branch fell on the tracks and they have to like remove it now. So, all right, anyway, that stinks. Uh, I think we're pretty much done. Or maybe I spoke too soon. The, uh, <laughs> the rain has, has begun, but it's not, it's more of just a drizzle. And honestly, right now, it feels really, really good. It's a little humid out today. The, uh, the rain feels pretty good. Still, with that being said, maybe before it does start pouring, we should get out of here. If, if, if it starts pouring, like I said, weather reports weren't even showing rain, I'll check them again. Never mind. although 30 seconds later, the rain is over, the sun is back out. It was just a little rain cloud passing over top of us. <laughs> Typical Florida weather. Ah, that's why I love Disney. Look at how dead Main Street USA is right now. The hub is just completely empty. I mean, it, there, there's hardly anybody here right now. I think pretty much everybody thought the same thing. I was thinking today's gonna be a, a terrible day for the park. It's gonna rain, there's gonna be crazy winds, the storm's coming, the hurricane's coming. Today is not a day to come to the park, but turns out today was a fantastic day to come to the park. Lines are like 15 minutes tops. Again, pretty much nobody here. It turned out that today was a really beautiful day for the parks. I know my feet are going to regret this, but you know what? What the heck? I'm gonna go back and get that, uh, that raccoon plush for Danielle. Again, my feet are killing me. These shoes are so incredibly uncomfortable and walking all the way to the, uh, the other side of the park. Not my idea of a good time at the moment, but I really wanted to get that raccoon for her, so I'm gonna do it. Again, just wanna point out the uh, new ground here in Adventureland is really cool. I like the ambiance, I like the theming. I like the uh, raccoon tracks, I'm thinking so. So it looks like due to the uh, winds, the Jungle Cruise is actually closed today as well. I could imagine that, I could imagine maybe on a day like today where the winds are a little bit more intense, probably boating a whole bunch of people through a, um, a very, very lush area full of trees. Probably not the smartest idea for, um, for safety reasons. Oh, did I mention that walking all the way to the back of the park, literally the other side of the park, was not my idea of a fun time. But I also mentioned my feet hurt. Oh, all right, we're almost there. Almost there. And I swear I was not just trying to quote Tiana, at least not intentionally. Maybe subconsciously I was quoting Tiana by saying, I'm almost there, and I'm almost there. We just gotta walk over this bridge and then we're, we're pretty much there at Critter Co-op. And I can buy a plush. My feet can rest. But I still have to walk back to Main Street. 
We're almost there. I'm tired. All right, made it back to Critter Co-op. I gotta get this uh, this plush again. The whole reason why I came in here was for this guy right right here. Danielle does not have one of these yet. I remember we we came in here and we looked at this plush and she wanted this plush and for some reason she never bought it. So all right, yeah, for for only twenty five dollars, right? Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. I'm picking this up. So worth walking all the way back to the uh, the other side of the park. All right, the uh, the raccoon, the raccoon named Apollo. A, a cast member just told me that that raccoon's name is a, a Apollo. A, a Apollo, Apollo. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. The raccoon's name is Apollo. I got it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk this way. We're gonna go to Main Street. We're going to Main Street. We're going to the Main Street. We're going to the Main Street. And oh my gosh, my feet hurt. And then we're gonna leave. Actually, depending on the line, I may stop into uh, to um, yeah, Starbucks. Oh my god, I can't think. The, this is why I'm stop This is why I'm possibly stopping in the Starbucks. I need to get myself a refresher. I need some refreshing. I am about to pass out. I am. I am really tired. Oh, Captain Jack Sparrow, how's it going? It looks like the storms are It does. Mark my words, the uh, line for the Dole Whip, still not very long. I could wait all of like three minutes and get myself a Dole Whip. But I can't really walk and eat a Dole Whip at the same time. Whereas a, um, a refresher, strawberry, strawberry lemony refresher, I could totally walk and, uh, and slurp that down all at the same time. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But, but the line for the uh, refresher, probably gonna be like, 30 minutes. Mark my words. And watch out, the camel, it spits. And have I mentioned the uh, new ground here? <laughs> the new dirt here in uh, Adventureland. I like it. We got uh, like a camel footprint, maybe some kind of like raccoon footprint. There's a, there's a turkey footprint, maybe a deer footprint. Pretty awesome, all these cool tracks. Yeah, it's the little things that uh, us Disney freaks lose our minds over. And a palm leaf. Okay. I am literally losing my mind at this point. Yep, I made a mistake. But a mistake I'm just gonna deal with at this point. I really need something or I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. So I guess I'm waiting. Okay, well, actually that worked out kind of perfectly because as I was standing in there getting my, man, I got a croissant too, getting my, um, my refresher, like a little two or so minute storm came through. I, I looked outside and there was rain pelting down and everybody had their, their umbrellas out and their, their ponchos on. It was kind of intense for about two minutes while I was in there waiting in line for my refresher. And now that I'm done, so is the storm. But I'm I'm leaving again because again my because again 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 my feet hurt. They are in pain, and I'm done. Actually, on second thought, before I leave, I'm gonna hang out here in this uh, this doorway on these stairs and just do some people watching while I eat my uh, my croissant and my my refresher. I need to relax for a minute. All right, guys, one last look. Main Street Station. I was happy to, oh my gosh, the wind is, <laughs> the wind is, is picking up. All right, guys, again, that's gonna do it for uh, for Walt Disney World. I'm gonna go hop on the, uh, I guess I'll take the um, ferry back over to my car, and then I'm out of here. Again, my feet are killing me. These shoes, good for, again, good for poles. Good for the beach, not good for walking around the parks. I am officially beat, and I guarantee you it's all because I'm beat, because of my feet. All right, did I mention I'm losing my mind? That refresher did fresh, freshen me up though. I feel, I feel much better now, but we are still done. All right, well, change of plans. We've got a slight problem. The ferry boats 
they just told me the closed. They, I guess they closed them down because of the wind or storm or I, I don't know, the closed. The only option to get back over to the TTC, well, there's two options to get back over to the TTC. I could either take the monorail, which I really don't want to do. That, that is not, that is not something I want to do. Um, or I could walk. I can literally walk all, there's, there's a path that goes all the way around the lagoon, all the way over to the Grand Floridian, then to the Polynesian, and from the Polynesian, I can go to the TTC. That's gonna be like a good like, yeah, half hour, 45 minute walk. It's a long walk. It's a very long walk. But it's, again, it's that or the monorail, and I really don't wanna take the monorail. I, last time I took the monorail, I had a panic attack. So, shoot, <laughs> shoot, I, I don't know what to do. All right, in all fairness, I guess I see why they closed down the ferries. The wind is really, really intense right now, but I, I couldn't do, I couldn't do a monorail. I, thinking about it, the line was crazy long, I just, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to doing the monorail. I, I overcame my fears this morning by going on the ferry with the monorail. The, the depth of the into the sky just a little bit too much. So I, I was not going to do that. So now I'm walking over to the, uh, all the way over to the TTC. I got to walk past the, the Grand Floridian, past the Polynesian, then to the TTC. It's about a half hour or so walk. I've done this walk many times before, and usually it's quite nice. It's peaceful, it's calming, it's relaxing. And honestly, I wouldn't be too upset right now, except for the shoes. <laughs> the shoes are making this oh, My feet hurt it so badly. Now I have to walk all the way over to the TTC. So, all right, we're doing this. Man, again, that, that wind, it, it has picked up. Finally showing up. You know what? No, my, my feet might hurt. I might not be thrilled that I have to walk all the way to the TTC, but let's keep the power of positivity. It's been a while since I've been to the uh, the Grand Floridian. So this is my excuse. This was my excuse to uh, to walk over here and take a look at the the views, walk through the uh, the property, maybe see if they have a another Starbucks here and get myself another refresher. Do they have a Starbucks at the uh, Grand Floridian? I don't know. I don't think I don't think they do. I think they do. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've been over here, so. I'm happy I got to, to come over here and, and see this. Man! Wow! <laughs> okay, yeah, all right! The, w <sighs> the winds are here! Oh, wow, okay, okay. I should have put this around. My hat almost blew off. <laughs> Still keeping the power of positive. Wow, wow! <laughs> I'm still keeping the uh, the power of positivity alive, even though I do still have quite a bit of a walk to go. And even though they did not have um, a Starbucks inside there, which I didn't think they did, but I, I was hoping they, they should. You you would think they would have one, but they don't. So, mark my words. Someday all the uh, deluxe resorts they're gonna have Starbucks. But um, I was also hoping maybe they'd have some unsweetened iced tea. They did not. So all right. 
We're gonna go to Poly the Polynesian. We'll see if they have any unsweetened iced tea. Or a Starbucks, I don't think it is. <laughs> okay, I think, uh, actually, you know what? I'm lost. I, I don't know how to get where I'm going. Power of positivity. Power of positivity. Serenity now. <laughs> um, I forgot, they're building a new, like, DVC area, new DVC towers for the, uh, the Polynesian. Which means the walkway, the, like the, the three minute walk from here over to the Polynesian is closed. How in the heck do I get from here to right over there? I have no idea. I, I don't know now. I just, I just want to get back to my car. That's all I want. I just, I just want to go back to the car, take all these stupid shoes, go home, lie down. Stop at another Starbucks on the way home. Get myself my second refresher for the day. I earned it. Ah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. All right, well, what I'm doing now is walking along this major road in the grass. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. In fact, I'm pretty sure if uh, Disney security drove by, they would probably stop me and ask me what I'm doing, but I don't think there is any other way to walk from the Grand Floridian to the uh, the Polynesian, and I have to go that way. There used to be uh, a walkway on that side of the road back when they first started construction here, but it's not there anymore. They're doing construction on that side of the road as well. So what other choice do I have? How else do I get to the Polynesian? I have no idea. So, okay, all right, well, Disney. This is ridiculous. All right, I think I've done it. The Polynesian is right over that fence. I believe I'm back onto the correct path. This is the new path they built that used to go across the road, bizarrely, and then down to uh, the Grand Floridian. Now it just does nothing. I don't know what Disney was thinking. Why, why would they, why would they just get get rid of the path completely. There is like no way to make this walk anymore without walking through the grass there, which I guarantee you is something I was not supposed to do. If only that guy right there would have been nice enough to stop and give me a ride. If only, if, if only I could give these feet a rest. But no, all right, we're almost there. Sort of, kind of, we're about 75% way there. Again though, keeping that power of positivity alive, it's been a while since I've been to the Polynesian, so this is my excuse to, to walk through the Polynesian and to take it all in. It's beautiful. I love it over here. One of these days, actually probably when they build the new um, DVC towers, I'll end up staying over here. All right, I really hope they have unsweetened iced tea in the lobby. I could really go for something at this point. Although, how do you get to the lobby? <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. All right, well, it's not this way, so maybe it's that way, or maybe I can just walk through the building. I, I don't know. I, again, I'm, I'm lost, I'm confused. This is crazy. Access, great, okay. I think, I think I want to go this way. Oh my gosh, okay, thank God. They, they had unsweetened iced tea. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are, we are so close. The TTC is right, right over there. And then, mm. And then back onto a tram, back into the car, back home, taking these stupid scoops off. <sighs> All right, we've got like another like five minutes to walk. That's it, and then and then back on a tram. All right, and with that, a short walk through this little path right here, and we leave the Polynesian, 
and we make it back to the TTC. <laughs> wow, that was, that was not, that was not fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Again, back at the TTC. I'm gonna miss that tram, but you know what? It is what it is. I am so close to my car and I'm so close to taking these stupid shoes off. You know what? I don't care anymore. I, I miss my tram. It pulled off right when I was walking up. It's about a six minute walk back to the car. What's another six minutes? How, how much more could my feet possibly hurt at this point? I can't even feel them anymore. They're like numb. So you know what? It just, we're just gonna walk back. To, hey, Mickey. <laughs> we're just gonna walk back to the, uh, the car. Uh, Although, how do you get to... How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Power of positivity. Oh, okay. Apparently, you just literally walk across the, uh, the road. And then onto the, the street. Right here. I am, I, am I supposed to be walking here? I don't know. All right. We're almost back at the car. Like four more minutes and I'm back in the car. Again, the shoes come off. I'm going home. <laughs> Today was a pretty good day, except for the last like hour, but I'm, uh, I just want to go and I just want to go home and lie down. I'm so close. I can see Vanabelle from here. She's, she's right there poking up over all the other cars. So close. And yet I feel like I'm still so far away. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today. I can't believe I just walked all the way from, from the Magic Kingdom to my car over here in the Simba lot. If, you, if, you're, if you're familiar with Disney, Walt Disney World, then you are well aware of how insanely far of a walk that just was. Okay, <laughs> you know what? I got my exercise in and worked off those, uh, worked off those, um, those spring rolls. That's what I did. All right, again, keeping that power of positivity alive. At least the weather was nice. We ha I had a good day, all things considered. The park was like empty, which was great. The weather held out, barely any rain. The winds have picked up, but it was overcast pretty much the whole time. Sun was peeking out here and there, but for the most part, it was really nice. It was a really, really nice day up until they told me I had to walk from the TTC, or from Magic Kingdom to the TTC, and then I, I guess back to my car. <laughs> up until that part, fantastic day. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. <laughs> what, a, what an interesting day today was. But again, it was a good day. I got the, I got the raccoon, well, I got the raccoon for Danielle, not without having to walk all the way to the other side. It was a, it was a very walky kind of day today. I had, to walk, I had to walk so much more than I had anticipated. Again, didn't even, didn't even need, didn't need this, didn't need this, didn't need to have these shoes on today. I could have worn my Vans and my feet could not be killing me right now. But I was, I was anticipating the worst and, uh, and I had to walk so far in these stupid shoes, but I love these shoes, just not for walking around the parks. Anyway, got the raccoon for Danielle, that's awesome. But all right guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna hop back in the van. I'm gonna drive like 25 minutes back home and then I'm gonna lay in bed and not get out until tomorrow morning. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Woo, the wind is picking up. Wow. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. I bet if I just waited for the next tram, that's probably my tram right there. Had I just waited, I would have gotten here at the same time. <laughs> check, down below, check down below for all the different links. Hit the, hit the join button. Become a member of the channel. If you guys do that, you gain early access to all my videos. You can be the first to see me suffer through this evening. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag my feet hurt. Hashtag my feet hurt. If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end because man, do they ever. And I hope you guys are safe. For those of you dealing with the um, the hurricane, if you, if you live on the Gulf Coast, if uh, you live in the area where the hurricane's hitting, hope you guys uh, are safe and sound. Hope you guys uh, you know bunker down, board it up, stand back, do whatever you had to do. 
Hope you guys are um, are good. Hope the uh, hurricane didn't affect you guys too much. Hope you're all right. For us, it seems like this is, again, from what I've been seeing from weather.com, this looks like it's going to be about it. Just some, some summer heavy winds and maybe some rain in about an hour or so. That's, that's about it. Let's see anything else on the, uh, the weather report. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Like I said, if you like weather, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go take my shoes off. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, babe. I'm home. <laughs> I got you something. You braved the hurricane. I, bra I braved the hurricane just to pick you up something amazing that I know you're going to love. Right, okay. Close your eyes. Put a chan. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's Apollo. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. And all I had to do. It was brave a hurricane. Oh, look at his little tooth. <laughs>